Jackson State University, founded in 1877, is a historically black, high research activity university located in Jackson, Mississippi. With a growing student body, JSU provides a nurturing academic environment that challenges individuals to change lives through teaching, research, and service. With enrollment growth came the need for major expansions to campus infrastructure, including access to technology, driving engaged and collaborative learning. Introducing technology into the learning environment was challenging. Not all students had access to computers, and many classrooms were ill-equipped to encourage student collaboration. One early plan included the addition of a large computer lab in an overhaul of the library. University leaders recognized that students were using the library's aging print collection less. They hoped that a computer lab would bring students to the library, maybe even get them to wander into the dusty, neglected reference collection. While students did use the library computer lab, especially the printers, traffic in other parts of the library did not increase as administrators hoped. However, while the computers were used, there were no engagements of students in 21st century learning. It took a complete redesign of the library into a digital commons and a massive effort to democratize the access to technology by putting an iPad in the hands of every freshman student for a real transformation to take place in the library. I think the space really functions as, as, as it was designed and it's an amazing transformation of, of the library as a whole. So it just doesn't become a, a, a place of, of bookshelves that, that people don't really use anymore. All students needed access to reliable technology from the first day of class. More than just electronic materials, students needed access to a variety of resources geared to support them in a tech-infused learning environment. The iPad and, and the associated technologies are really significant because they can, they can truly prepare themselves with a variety of tools. The library spaces were reborn, redesigned to meet the needs of millennial students and what they needed was a 21st century space. It becomes a really active space, and a space where students come together and they work in groups, and, and that's what employers are looking for. The library changed, and so did the faculty. We realized the faculty technology marriage would only last if training became a part of the campus culture. Faculty tried new approaches and then refined those early attempts. With continuous support and training, I think my approach to teaching has also changed because I'm constantly looking for new ways to engage the students and also um, ways that will allow them to explore their creative side as well. I've definitely changed some of my photography assignments to reflect having an iPad, to reflect having access to this kind of technology. Having access to iPads give me an opportunity to let them do learning team activities. So after, um, after we've discussed a particular topic, now they can work in groups to solve a problem. The Cyber Learning Initiative gave students technology, trained faculty to use new devices, and completely transformed the campus into a learning ecosystem. Now, all incoming first-time freshmen are given an iPad through a partnership with the Mississippi eCenter Foundation. The pads have opened up new ways to engage students and encourage more student collaboration. They work better in groups. They're more collaborative. When I give them um, uh, an iPad assignment, they just they, they, they work better and closer together. I specifically think about um, how non-traditional students have often been left out of the loop because uh, they have uh, different hours where they're available and there are different whiteboard applications I found um, that allow students to collaborate in real time and they don't necessarily have to be at the same place in the same location. So I definitely think that the iPad has allowed for their collaboration. And the faculty involved in designing new content for iPad teaching began to think about the classroom and the students differently. Applications like Remind 101 allow me to contact the students through texting, which is, I find, their preferred method of communication. It's also challenged, challenged me to become more creative about the material I present and the way I present it to the students. Nowadays, we have to meet the student and teach them where they are and these students are kind of wired differently and they are into technology and technology brings everything it makes everything relevant up to date most importantly 
the campus has become a true learning ecosystem with a robust wireless available to everyone on campus, even in the green spaces. A reimagined library that is the center of this digital environment. The new spaces in the library are designed to help students and faculty see the learning environment as more than just a physical space. And in terms of, of create the space behind me, uh, I've seen it, I've seen the library before this space existed and, and I've really paid close attention to how students use this space as it is now. And it's amazing to see all the, all the different breakout spaces that they, they engage in. Through these lessons learned, Jackson State University is forging ahead in using technology to enhance the learning environment, to challenge minds and change lives.